As human beings, a lot of us tend to say, tell me the truth. Why weren't you straight up and upfront with me? But I would like to share a clip with you which shows what someone who has narcissistic personality disorder or perhaps another personality disorder that lacks empathy would say. And if they were to say these things to you upfront, you know, upon meeting you and having that initial conversation, would you still decide that you wanted to be with that person if you heard these words? I'm not gonna love you. I just want you to love me. I can't love anyone but myself. But I feed off of the love of other people. Lucky for me, I know exactly how to make you fall in love with me. First, I'll be everything you've ever wanted. Charming, funny, thoughtful, smart, romantic. Life with me will seem like a fairy tale. The first month, you'll be so swept off your feet. There'll be moments that your intuition picks up red flags, but I'm so used to explaining those away. You'll get over it quickly. You want to believe that I'm as great as I seem to be, so I'll let you. Now that you're completely infatuated with me, I'll get you to trust me. I'll pretend to open up about a few shallow things, maybe even things that didn't happen, so that you feel safe opening up to me. I don't care what you've been through, but I need you to open up to me so that I can see your weaknesses. I'll pretend to care about your traumas, your insecurities, your fears, all the while making a detailed list about every single one of them so that I can use them as ammunition against you later. After two or three months of this, you'll think that I'm so wonderful you're completely in love. And that's when I have to test you. I have to see if you're really as infatuated with me as you seem to be, if you're as intoxicated as I need you. So I'll do something that should be unforgivable. Maybe I'll lie or cheat. Maybe I'll say that I'll call you and then leave you up all night wondering where I am. Something that most people wouldn't be able to forgive. But I need you to forgive me because I know that if I can get you to forgive this occurrence, I have you trapped. Once you've forgiven me, I know you're hooked. And that's when I finally get to start showing who I am. And thank God, because pretending to be that loving is exhausting. Now, instead of calling you wonderful, handsome, beautiful, whatever those compliments were before, I'll start spreading them out. Instead of sending you paragraph texts, I'll send you one word, if anything at all, just to make sure that you still know who's in charge. My favorite part is when I get to start nagging you, you know, insulting you, but making it sound like a compliment so that you can't possibly refuse it. And if you do call me out on insulting you, I'll just call you crazy. After all, what kind of a psycho would respond that way to me? You're not a psycho, are you? Now the fights begin. The ones that I pick, but that you're always the problem of. At first, you don't understand how this works. You want me to take responsibility for things, as if that's ever going to happen. You're going to learn that you're the one that's the problem. It is always your fault. And if you want to keep me, which I know you do, you're going to have to take responsibility for everything. The longer we're together, the less I have to do. The power has completely flipped. I used to be showering you with compliments in the beginning and doing everything for you. But now you're doing everything for me. You're desperate to keep me. And you don't even know why. You feel miserable. And that's exactly how I want you. Addicted. Exhausted lonely I need you weak because when you're weak you stay and now I can treat you however I want I can full on abuse you if I decide to I can cheat on you I can lie to you I can use you you do everything I say because of course I'm in complete control your sense of reality is eroded I've separated you from your family and friends you have no sense of self. You are completely and totally dependent on me. And that's exactly how I want it. Just like I told you in the beginning, I don't want to love you. I just need you to love me. And now, 
Thank you. Once again, I posed a question for you guys. After hearing all those things, if someone were to honestly and truly say those things, would you still decide to pick them? I guess that's why they say ignorance is bliss because you got a chance to share all the good moments until you found out who they were and then you say, why didn't you tell me who you were? But if they did, would you really? <laughs>